Virgo, guess what? It is time for your mid-March to April reading. Of this card here. Looks like you guys have some control you're trying to take. The Emperor that just popped up. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so it's going to be a group one, group two, two readings. You and the person possibly you're dealing with, or maybe just people you know who are dealing with each other. Whatever one, two you want to do. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. Just hit me up. I don't charge for them, but I got a PayPal, so you can donate if you feel like it. It's all up to you, really. Get over there. That's good enough. All right, group one, we're going to start with you. So give me like two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Alrighty then, group one, no whammies. We got for you, you're in the element probably, you are Virgo, for that is your card. We also have Aquarius's card. Oh, I think my computer broke, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we got Aquarius's card with the star, talk about communication coming together. Uh, seven of Pentacles reverse in your... <clears throat> Fears and Rejections, Ace of Pentacles Reverse right here in the situation, Justice Reverse, and what's going against you in your challenges and obstacles, and then the Ten of Cups is the final result as well as the Catalyst, and then we have Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Decisiveness. Be mature, grounded, level in your decision making on who you might cut off. Because someone might have done you wrong. Group one. All right. So we got the Virgo right here. The Hermit. Someone is going inside to analyze and introspect some about what will give them balance. Okay. Okay. This stinks. I don't like this one. It makes my head hurt. I might put it out here in a little bit. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, right? But it's reversed, so it's like a shitty offer. It's an offer you probably shouldn't take. Maybe one that's not even being given, if it's even there, but I don't think it is. And if it is, don't take it. That's the situation. Like this offer is clarified. By the Emperor, probably an Aries. You might be getting a shitty offer from an Aries, or... This offer is bad because someone wants control. You could be offering this offer for control, or someone is offering it to you because he's got like a little apple in his hand. But he also has that scepter that looks like kind of like an onk, but not really, in his other hand. We have the star, Aquarius's card, communications. You might want to communicate something to somebody. You might want to open up ideas, influence one another, mirror each other, possibly. What's Oh, almost saw the devil. Yeah, it's burden. Ten of Wands is communication. Either you want to communicate with somebody, and it's becoming a burden. Or something that's a burden, or it's a burden to deal with Aquarius. One of the two. But you want to communicate with them, so that's it. You, you are open for shit. It's backwards. But we have Justice Reverse, which is a Libra. Possibly not being able to make a head over heart decision is too difficult for you. You know, everyone has their limits. Oh, there's some illusions here. Pisces and Cancer's card, the moon. Like you're having a hard time figuring out what to do because you... Like you want to communicate, but you don't know what to decide on. But it's kind of like an illusion because you already know, like, you need to tap into your emotions a little bit more. Like, I feel like you wanting to communicate this so bad is like a burden on you that it's driving you crazy. I'm putting that out because it really does stink. Like, I don't like it. 
that's too much. But yeah, it's like... Hmm. Or maybe just to communicate is a burden in itself. Like to open up and just say what you want to say. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed over here and the fears and rejections. Maybe a bad investment. Maybe influence some negative or enabling behaviors that did not give properly the way they should have. Yeah, it was like bad manifestation. It didn't work out for you. Whatever you tried to create, it just didn't happen. Or it came out with like a really bad side effect. And then with the Ten of Cups right here in the beginning and the end. The catalyst and the final result is happiness. <laughs> Comes with a price. Comes with a lot of things that are draining. And a lot of things that like are not good for you. Just for this happily ever after. Ending theme is... Ah! Got three cards. Four cards. Hmm. I'm going to shuffle again. But it's like someone is an offering. We're coming forward. Someone is isolating themselves, but they want to come out of it. The problem is that they're stuck in some shit, right? Like the devil came up again. Yeah, they're keep someone's keeping their guard up about what they're going to come to. You know? Like there's some sort of like decision that they're trying to um, keep behind closed doors. In a sense. Almost demanding too much. Maybe asking for patience. You know, I need to protect myself from what it is I'm about to do. <laughs> uh, they want an open door, though, still. But, yeah, it's like that door's still open, but it's like that offer, though. It's like someone knows it'll be under someone else's control. It's bothersome. What's the second advice card for Virgo? Oh, actually, I got better. Oh, uh, yeah. Use your emotions to figure out what to do. Like, that's what the moon's here for. Like, you know that there's an illusion, like, trying to decide what it is you want to do when it comes to communication. But I think if you use your emotions a little bit, it might help. But my experience with my Virgo mother is, like, that's kind of hard to do. Because you feel a lot of emotions, too. And sometimes I think it scares you. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in this as well. And there might just be still some more waiting, some more patience, even though, you know, you're still waiting to see if all that, like, badness, all of that bad harvest is going to, um, produce something out of it, you know? You're still waiting on it. That's yours, group one. We'll go ahead and do group two. Ah, that's the wrong ass card. Hey, fam. Crazy lady. Oh, so maybe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to group two. This is just easier to try to shuffle it the other way. I'm sad. I should play guitar. So, but I can do that tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. It all depends on how many I get done today. Because everyone wants my fucking attention. For some reason. Okay. So, group two. We're doing you next. Yay. No whammies. Alrighty. We got for you. Wasting fucking time. The hangman reversed. Ah. Let's see how that one goes. Uh... Princess of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Two of Cups and the Fears and Rejections. This is the Wants and Wishes, by the way. Um, six of Pentacles, possibly also Libra, trying to get your balance in the situation. The Chariot right here could be dealing with a Cancer. 
But they are an obstacle in the challenge, which is like moving ahead and shit. Prince of Wands Reverse. I'm not doing a damn thing. <laughs> not moving on. Not trying to start anything different. Okay. And the beginning theme is Princess of Cups. Opening up like a child. Being intuitive. Being into something, right? Letting your emotions play. Being all like expressive with yourself, right? Whether good or bad is up to you, though. All right, so we have the Hangman Reverse. Definitely wasting time and losing values. Losing valuables, I mean, in the process. Because now all this shit's just falling out of his pocket because he won't turn himself right back up. Or he won't turn himself the right way. Like, he would have lost just some if he would have tried, but it's like now he's just hanging around, wasting time. Sometimes it's like the martyr complex where they're just like where they are um putting themselves through something that they could easily get themselves out of it could also be that situation too but this person's just wasting time to me and they're losing shit because they are wasting time right yeah jesus there we go yeah not working on anything not yeah, no, we're, yeah, yeah, like that, that's, okay, yeah, that's literally what wasting time is. Not doing anything. They don't want to work on it. They'd rather just waste the time. Uh, six of Pentacles. Trying to gain balance in the situation, huh? There's someone in the background, though. Like, one person's getting showered with stuff, and the other person's just not getting anything. And it's like, you're trying to gain balance because there isn't a good offer in any of this to give. Like, someone's way too involved. With what they are getting for themselves. To worry about this bad offer from this person in the background, I feel like. And then we got the Six of Swords. You're gathering information. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They did show up in um, Group 1's reading. Pretty significant, like. Not as much as, I think, either Leo or Gemini. But definitely it was in there. Um, someone's definitely, like, trying to get other information about fighting, about arguments. Um, five of wands. And then down here, someone, like, this is a want and wish. Okay? Someone wants to find something in order to start a fight. What? Or are you looking for something in order to have a reason to fight? Because it could be either or. Like, you know, what kind of information are you seeking out about conflicts? Or are you looking for reasons for why people are having conflicts, too? Um, what's going against you is the chariot, which is like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be moving forward, charging ahead, not letting th anything stop you, getting ready for battle. Trying to adjust yourself in order to gain balance. But you're kind of in hermit mode with Virgo. Or this is Virgo. Charging ahead and being all to themselves about it. And not really communicating much. And not trying to like verbalize at all. They're just going ahead like, oh, I'll just throw myself in here. Because now I'm just emotionally distraught. And now I'm just not going to play fair because Virgos do that sometimes. They're, they get, Virgos can be really fucking mean. Like, really mean. They have the Two of Cups reversed, right? And the fears and rejection of breakup. Or just a separation from somebody from yourself, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Walking away from it. You're afraid with this breakup you're just going to have to leave your cups behind and walk away. So why don't you do something about it? Like, ugh. You're not working on it, and you know you're wasting time. But you're considering it a bad, something a bad offer, too. I feel like, in a way, it's like you have this vibe of, like, love comes and goes. So it's like you're not as attached to it. 
I think maybe maybe that's like like yeah you're afraid of letting this go but you're not really doing anything about it and you possibly are looking at this as the bad offer like whatever you're getting showered with is more opportunistic for you but it but it's still in the back of your mind it's like it's kind of like um you're choosing convenience over what it is you really like just because of the fact that it doesn't give you as much. Like, it's kind of like being greedy. Like, why do I want this one pentacle when I'm getting showered with all these other ones? A bunch more? Oh my god. This is so much better. It's kind of like that. You know? Prince of Wands Reverse. Not moving ahead, not charging, not doing anything at all. Just chilling out. Not taking any action. This is the catalyst of final result, the beginning and the end. Yeah, because they're too paranoid. But you're too paranoid? You're too paranoid to like move ahead? You're looking for info that might affect someone badly? Or someone's doing that to you? Like, this is like... You're made open about your emotions and stuff. Fleetingly, but still very open. So it's like... What are you opening up about? Page of Pentacle. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Giving a very... Not so... Professionally done. But solid offer. Like, will the offer open the door for you? Like, do you, are, are, are you thinking, like, this person is in a shadow. You don't know who they are, right? You don't, you can't see them. Do you feel as though, like, because they aren't there, that the offer is bad? Because, like, over here we have, like, Virgo. Like, these are all, except for the chariot, right? Because that's just energy vibrate but right, all of this right here is like earth definitely and i feel like it might be virgo just charging ahead and you think that like oh well they're not here so why should i think that their offer is any good it's probably bad but you haven't done anything to work on it either like you know yeah you're afraid of this person possibly walking away but you're too scared i think to um do anything about it you're afraid that, like, whatever information you do get will lead to nothing but fighting a little bit. But, like, if you don't approach the subject, how do you expect anything to be done? I don't know. Let's look at the three advice cards for you. Oh, I got two. Yeah, like, offer something. Damn it. You know, and, like... This can all, like, come to some sort of halt. Oh. And then you'll have control. Yep, you're definitely from player ones. Yeah, it's group two. Okay. I was totally, like, not sure. But, yeah. But you're the one that they're, like, hmm, worried about control with. So, obviously, this is, like, hmm. It's, like, you want to be in control of the situation, but you're not willing to do anything about it. And the other person is just... Because they think this is a bad offer, too. But it's not like you guys are letting go of each other, either. But that is the reading, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.